when I first got into the house, Fort Main House of Pain, my man Main had the house over there in Fort Main. You know what I mean? Um, there was two phones, you know, everybody had their slot time. Uh, back then, there was no such thing as putting in your code, no six minutes shit, or none of that. It was three phones, three phones, you know what I mean? So everybody had a flat, uh, a slot time, uh, you know what I'm saying? So when I go in there, you know, ran into the main nigga the house, boom, 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 nigga main, boom, nigga main from the Bronx, you know what I mean? Dominican cat, wild cat, cool cat, you know what I'm saying? I was there with Ronnie, Johnny, Dominica, Kiko, Lenny, City, you know what I mean? City, I don't know where he came back home yet, you know what I mean? But it was a lot of good brothers there. We always try to make the best of the bad times. First case scenario, you know, you walk into the house, whatever the case may be. It was me and Green Eyes, me and King Green Eyes. We walk into the house, boom. I'm like, yo, whatever with the phone, boom. He was like, yo, boom, there ain't no slot times available. But I'm um, just kidding, I, 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 whatever the case may be, you know what I mean? He had a uh, two hours on the slot time, main five time, which was six to eight. You know what I mean? He was clean and quick at that time. At that time, we was in war with bloods. You know what I'm saying? He was clear, clear today. He was quick. He get, meaning he get that. You know what I mean? That's what he told my niggas out there. He was quick. You know what I mean? At that time, it was nothing with quicks. You know what I mean? It was a war with bloods, the king, whatever the case may be. So my man, the dude named Maine, he had the house. Nigga named Maine, he had the house. Um, he tells me, yo, Blue, you know what I mean? The only slot time available, and you got six to eight. Talk to him and find out if you could get a little, you know what I mean? Do whatever you could converse with. Find out what y'all could do. So I'm like, all right, cool. So, I, you know, I talked to you know what I mean? You got six to eight, you know what I mean? My king brother just came through. We got to get some time. We got to ride. We got to, you know what I mean? Call our family and everything, you know? Basically, the phone wasn't to lot of guys. It was to get in contact with your lawyers, your family, your family to get in contact with your lawyers. Prime time is, is a deep time, but that was the only time available. So I'm like, yo, you know what I mean? If it's a possibility, yo, just give me an hour. I'm trying to be reasonable. You understand what I'm saying? Is it, 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 you know what I mean? I ain't no big boy, you know what I mean? I ain't no crazy ass cat. I'm just, I just want to get through my situation and get out of there. You know what I mean? It's all about doing your time and getting back to life, to your family, whatever the case may be. So your man is like, I'm like, yo, listen, man, just give me an hour. I'll give a half to my bro and a half for me. And you said, you could take your regular hours, seven to eight. I'll take six to seven, you know? And he's like, nah, that's it, that, that's it, that. So I'm like, all right, cool, you know what I mean? So my man means like, yo, you, already, you know what I mean? I already knew what it was. I already knew what time it is. It's just phone check time. So, you know, the outcome comes, your boom, you got to take the phone off the mic. Go to the day room, spin the motherfucker phone in the middle of the day room. I spun the phone. I'm like, homie, I gotta get some time on this mic. You know what I mean? I came up correctly, righteously. You didn't want to respond to it. So this is what it is. We're like, all right, go to the back. So we get to the back. We dump it off. I ain't gonna front. He got the best of me. Beat my ass. No lie. You know what I mean? Whatever the case may be, I go to the yard. My bro Joel, may he rest in peace, big ass, dark skin. Puerto Rican nigga, you know what I mean? Big motherfucker. He had, man, he was a little beast too, dumb gang. He went up to two up or whatever the case may be, but he was too cocky. He was good. Man, they cut him up. He got, you know what I mean? He did his thing. They cut him. They cut him. He cut down. Whatever the case may be. But when I get to the yard, the big first crown for that time was Joel. So Joel, when we go to the yard, the next day, me and Green Eyes, he was like, yo, 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 what's up? You got your phone time? You got good? You know what I mean? Because you'll be good. We're like, nah, you know, a little discrepancy. They were like, nah, blue, you know what I mean? You try to get along with them, they go, you know what I mean? Blue got the best of me. But it's funny because it's like, all right, first you claim the grip, whatever the case may be. But this is the whole point of niggas be doing the snakey shit. They, they say one thing one minute because they're around certain things. But then when, when they get to another house, when it's more dumb, then they claim black lion, whatever the case may be. So they was doing a switcheroo, you know what I'm saying? Playing the ah, ah, ah. So I was like, yo, bro. Yeah, you got to cut him. So I said, Tato, I'll take it. They're like, nah, 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 not too blue. Green eyes, you do your job. I'm like, nah, I got this. He was like, nah, green eyes, do your thing. So whatever the case may be, you know, you got the bench stool, like I said before, the, the metal bench stool that's you're watching your TV in the day room. You know, it's cell house, so you already know the, uh, the day room, and then in the middle of the day room, you got the, when you first come in, and then you got the bubble there. So, you know, Green Eyes called him while he was watching TV. Ah, caught him. Ah, gave, gave him a little buck 50, whatever. It, it wasn't even a buck 50, whatever. How many stitches? I don't care. I don't know. I don't give a fuck about that. So, the kid's going to his cell. 
At that time, it was almost kind of time my man Ming was like, yo, close up the cell. <laughs> they closed up his cell, boom. I don't know, it was count time coming, everybody got to lock in. So as we walk him out of the cell, he give me that look, everybody, you know, the man held it down. Quiet, he ain't saying nothing, he looked at me, I looked at him, and that's what it is. We go to the cell, whatever, when they do count time, they see his face all cut and blooded up. Boom, they pop his cell open, and she'll pop his cell open, boom. From there, they take him in front of me, they switch him out the house. Green eyes, a couple of days later, green eyes had to go to court. So when you go to court, they have you in a bullpen with your jumpsuit. So Green Eyes end up going to the fucking bullpen where it was like mad Jamaican shit. Mad Jamaican brothers, you know what I mean? So Green Eyes already knew what time it is. So she already saw it. He walked by with a little, he was like, yeah, yeah, I'm all right. So they already grilling him. They already knew what time it was. He knew what time it was. So they were like, yo, you, you know what it is. So Green Eyes opened up his jumpsuit and they cut him. Huh. Coming straight down the chest, all the way down to his, from his chest all the way down to his stomach. I don't know what they cut him with, but they cut him. They got him good. What you mean he opened up his jumpsuit, though? Because everybody knew. Everybody knew what it was. They were going to cut him. They was going to cut him. They, everybody knew what it was. He stepped into the boot pins where but that was all vicious people. You know what I mean? And they already made words. They already made contacts. So everybody know. You know what I mean? So we're like, all right, cool. So he opened up his jumpsuit. They cut him. Huh? Got him. You know what I mean? So my nigga Green Eyes push up his uh, bro, uh his bro cross, whatever the cross. You know what I mean? You know the shit that goes <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So he puts it up and this is you know what I mean? They give him confirmation and everything. When he came out of everything, he tells me everything. So when he puts his shit up, you know, so the seals doing their round off on the boot pins, they gotta do that little round off, whatever the case may be. So he's turned his back against the um bars so they don't see him bleeding through the jumpsuit. So they were like, yo, 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 you turn around. When he turned around, they see all the blood coming out of his chest. You know what I mean? And when he turned around, they really took him out of the house. This was phone check time. Back then, it was like, my nigga, you had to fight for your freedom to make calls, to be in the outside world, to get a contact, for you to get in contact with the people in the outside, babe. And you know, later on in life, coming to find out, I'm listening to other people's, you know, broadcast. And then when I'm hearing other people broadcast, I couldn't find out that same kid ended up at OBCC. He ended up at OBCC. Now he's playing the Black Lion because it was nothing but a blood house there. That's why I say niggas set trip. Set trips, meaning they want to claim a set when it's good there, but they claim another set when it's not good there. You know what I mean? Now you want to be Black Lion. That's when you hear that nigga Tulo's thing about him getting knocked out twice. They he was a big nigga out there, you know what I mean? Like basically he had whatever, whatever he was holding out there, he was holding out there. He was a nigga that had money. So basically he was doing his thing, hard body karate. I don't know if he was the head of Black Lines, whatever the case may be. But you already know, 241 Jamaican Ave, uh, White Plains Avenue is all Jamaicans, you know what I mean? They all wild cats, you crazy cats, you know what I mean? That's when Chocolate Tower was back then and all that. You know what I mean? I grew up in the era when it was the set cards and I got in there after the whole when Rikers Island, when, all right, I ran into one of my boys. Before it was Kings and Bloods, it was, you know, 5%. And then back then, it was just Brooklyn against Bronx or Brooklyn and Queens. It was all boroughs set. It was in all that Kings or Bloods back then. It was all about boroughs back then. You already know what I'm talking about. You, you've been through it. But it's like the whole point is like, my man, a lot of people, they, they slither, they slide, they snakes. You gotta be careful with the snakes. And so you cut the grass and you see the, you were like, oh, this guy's a snake. You know what I mean? It's different, man. Cause you don't know who you around until you see when you cut the grass. So you always gotta be careful who you around. That's why it's always called, it's like a resume. You know, you always gotta do your homework on a mean man, whatever you around to bring sure who he is. We call it sleeper cells. You understand what I'm saying? Like a nigga go rock you and be like, yeah, I'm your boy, I'm cool with you. And then when you most vulnerable, they got you. You know what I mean? It was it was all crazy back then, you know what I'm saying? So it's like basically, yo, stop sleeping on people. You don't know them that well. Do your research, do your math, do your shit, man. Don't fall asleep on these kids out here. These motherfuckers is grinding, man. Motherfuckers do anything out there. That, like I said before, niggas don't give a fuck about nobody but themselves. Unless you know who they are and you grew up with niggas. But like I said, a lot of times, a lot of people change, man. You know what I mean? Somebody could be cool as shit at one point, but they turn grimy when it comes down to being independent. You know what I'm saying? It's like a big cage, you know? 
But yo, that's all I got to say, man. These motherfuckers don't even know. Little young ones don't even know, man. Don't even get out there. Don't even come to this path, babe. This path is nothing but fucking war-ass path, bro. You know what I mean? But yo, like I said last, man, thank you for everything. You know what I mean? Shouting out to the young ones out there. You know what I mean? Because a lot of these OGs is not letting these young ones know what it is out there. So this is your platform to let these young ones know, man. Because a lot of these OGs, to get OGs, they send little 13, 14 year olds to catch bodies, bro. My man, these little young ones don't even know, man. I remember in on 167 in Sheridan, they had this young kid. They shot the young kid. He was like 14 years old. They shot him in front of his mom's while he was getting in a yellow school bus. And the yellow school bus, they shot him up. His mom's was like, yo, but he was innocent, ta 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 ta. But his mom's didn't know him. That little nigga was a terror, little 14 year old. He already caught two bodies out there. He already caught two bloods and he was quick. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times the adults don't even know about their kids, man. You know what I mean? When these adults, the parents, don't know too much about the kids and they wonder what's going on, y'all gotta reach out to people like us that's in here that really spring the story to y'all, you know what I mean? If anything, y'all leave comments and be like, yo, what should I do with my young one? You know what I mean? So they can learn and listen from experience from people like you, Zulo, you know what I mean? Boldly, whatever the case may be, all them cats that's listening and doing their broadcast, so they can understand and listen to the shit that we went through so they don't have to go through it. It's called life experience, man. You gotta learn from the past to continue with the future. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be like, nah, he's bullshitting. My man, it's history. It's our story to tell the young ones. That's all I gotta say, man. All my Gen Pop representatives, you heard? Make sure y'all go join my new membership. You heard $2.99 a month? You get all the exclusive Gen Pop badges, you heard? And I'm going to be doing exclusive short videos just for the membership, as well as exclusive pitches just for the membership, you heard? I'm still dropping all my same free shit, all my same free content, but I'm going to do a little bit more exclusive content for the membership, you heard? So make sure if you rep that Gen Pop fan for real, for real, go join my membership, $2.99 a month, you heard? L-A-Z.